Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Audio bandwidth for the Daily Gizwiz is provided by Winamp. Subscribe to the Daily Gizwiz and all your favorite podcasts with the ultimate media player. Download it for free at winamp.com. Video bandwidth for the Daily Gizwiz is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. It's time for the Daily Gizwiz with Matt's maddest writer, Dick T. Bartolo. This is episode 1181 for Monday, September 20th, 2010. The Pillow Tie. And now, get ready for Dick. Hey, let's begin a brand new week of Gizzes and Whizzes. Or something like that. It's a brand new week and a brand new day and a brand new daily Gizwiz. It's a brand new week and a brand new day and a brand new daily Gizwiz. The worse your life, day and a brand new week and a brand new day, the better we sound. It makes its own gravy. The worse your life, day and a brand new day and a brand new day, the better we sound. The worse your life, the better we sound. As the chat room says, the worst song in the world begins our week each and every week. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen, the best fellow in the world, Dick Whoa. D. Bartolo. Hello, well, Dick. how you doing? Don't take it personal. It's just a little rhetoric. A little oh, rhetorical flourish. I see. I see. Okay. It means nothing. Oh, oh no. I was going to have you write it down and sign it. <laughs> I shall make a plaque. You know, they, yes. did a, they did a newspaper story about me in the L.A. Times a, a couple of weeks ago. I saw it. That was very good. Yeah, it was a nice story. And, uh, and yeah, I got an... No, I, you don't have to email it to me every day. I, 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 I did read it three times now. I just wanted to make sure you saw it. Yeah, I did. You I didn't, did. It, it wasn't the email. It was the mail where I printed out copies and sent it to you every day. That probably was... I got those, yeah, too. Yeah. Yeah, FedEx. Yeah. I didn't know FedEx did COD. <laughs> Well, I got a, I got an email like a couple of days later saying, we noticed your wonderful article in the L.A. Times, and we thought if you'd like a plaque made of it, we you should know about our service. Apparently, there's a company that goes around, and if they sees, a, sees an article about somebody, they send them a, a message saying, we could make a plaque out of that. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Do it, just tell me the truth. Am I? Do I seem to you the kind of guy who has a wall lined with plaques? Awards received, articles, an ego wall, they call it. Oh, no, not you. You have the ego room. Yeah, wall not is just not big wall. enough. No, no, no. I said, why did you have the stuff on Look the wall? Look at the chat room. Said, no. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> you guys. Wow. Oh, my word. That's the most <laughs> unified response it's, to any yeah. question I have ever seen in the chat. <laughs> I would say the chat room was pretty much unanimous. <laughs> that I would have an ego wall. I, in fact, just so you know, do not have an ego wall. Oh. oh. And one day, if you ever get an award, that would be a thing to... Yeah. I, I have a cabinet that I stick the awards in. Oh, okay. But okay. they're just kind of stuck there. It's not like... Uh, in fact, you can barely see them. It's not like I dis they're on display there. No. Did the spotlight go out? Yeah. With the air conditioner? <laughs> Maybe they all went out together. All the, yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, mostly I do have in the, uh, the, the, I do have the chat room saying pictures of my kids on my all over. We have an ego oh, wall of our kids going up the stairs. Oh, yeah, yeah that's understandable. Yeah. That's understandable. Nightstar says yeah. he'll make a brass plaque for me. Good. That's a start. That's Leo a start. Laporte. He was such a SOB. I don't know. <laughs> Just, no, just a, just a no, thought. we love you. We love no, you. Oh no, already, yeah. already, they're turning on me in the chat. Oh uh, no, yes. You know, this is show eleven eighty one. We are zooming toward uh, show twelve hundred in nineteen episodes, if my math is yeah. correct. Yes. So listen, I have a surprise for you. Mm -hmm. It's going to be my first gadget of the live show we do there, but. I'm going to tell you the surprise because when I get there, I don't want you to be surprised. Thank you, because okay. you know my heart is weak. I know, I know. So, but you have to make a decision now as to. All right, so I'll tell you what the surprise is. I won't tell you much about it. The surprise is the Pixies are coming for the first show we do when I'm there in the studio. 
The Pixies from Wild Planet. The Pixie, not the Elf. No, oh, the Elf. I'm sorry. I'm saying Pixies. Yes, the Elves. The Elves are coming. They are really. But, yes, but the really? Elves sent me an email later uh, earlier today and said, "Dick, we also have been running around dressed as spies, and since we're going to be show more you, fun, we, since we're going to show you the new spy car, perfect. Okay, they'll come as spies. No, I okay. like that because uh, okay. Wild Planet's always done great spy stuff." Yeah, and Leo, the new spy car is hackable. You can write your own programs for it, but I'll tell you more when I'm out there in person. But I just wanted to make sure that they will uh, appear as spies, and I told them there'll be a lot of hubbub that day, and, and that they'll do the first show, and then they have to evacuate the studio for other guests. But, okay, so... Um, That's exciting. Yes, it is exciting. Yes. It is exciting. There will be exciting. spies in studio in October. On October. October 2nd and October 2nd. And I want to mention one other thing. I thought if you're not going to Petaluma, I would arrange a meetup back in New York City. So I just want to get an idea. That's, of that's great because I'm not going to Petaluma. So I'd like to come to the meetup. Oh, in New good. York City. Okay, good, good. So I'm, if, in fact, if, if I'm going to be out of town if, when you're here. I hope you don't mind. Oh, no, that's okay. Great, great. Because uh, Lisa said she would do it. She probably she would, would prefer that, I know. It's a lot better looking than me, Dick. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've only seen Lisa on camera, but I'll, I'll see her in person soon. You've never met so, the CEO of Twit LLC? No, you know what? We met, I think, was she at CES? Oh, yeah. Yes, okay, we did meet. And um, come in, Lisa, she, Lisa, come in here so, you, so Dick can meet Yeah, you, you know yeah. what? She said it was $50 to appear on camera. It was a union thing. What? 50? I it's been 100 for months. Well, 50. She said she liked my work. <laughs> <laughs> She's very shy, but she is the one if you notice whose name is on the checks that you get, Dick. Yes, that's why I've been sucking up to Lisa since I saw that signature. <laughs> and in ink. You know, Fred Reed used to do crayon, mm. stencil. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, she used to uh, sign the checks, your friend. Yes, and uh, it was hard to catch. <laughs> your friend's at Twit. <laughs> your friend's at Twit. I said, oh, it's, it's, the thought is great. It's, I, told I, her to, I told him to sign, her, to sign him anonymous. I don't know why she changed. But, yeah. you know. mm. So... Anyway, um, so if you want to, if you want to come to a meetup, we're trying. I'm trying to get an idea. Myra, who's here in the studio, uh, is going to organize it, and we're thinking of the Boat Basin Cafe on Sunday, October 10th. Oh, fine. Probably from two to four in the afternoon. Is it still now? The Boat Basin Cafe closes in the winter, doesn't it? At the end of October. But so if you like want to see what we're talking about, yeah. BoatBasinCafe.com. I love that. Uh, you took me there. We had lunch there. It yeah. was great. It was so it was much great. fun. Yeah. So if you're interested, just send me an email, dick at gizwiz.biz, and just put meetup in the subject line and how many people uh, would like to come so that we can get an idea of do we need a special part of the cafe or we'll just use all of the cafe or some of the cafe. It's pretty big. If you use the whole cafe, I'll be impressed. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Uh, anyway, so uh, email me, dick at gizwiz.biz, and put meetup in the subject line. Excellent. Yes. So now, last week, you did ties. I neckties, uh, yes, because I'm such a dressy person. Yes, okay. Well, that reminded me, oh, my word, I have ties. <laughs> you have ties older than me. Well, my ties are called pillow tie. My ties? Pillow tie pillow is tie. the name. Pillow tie. These are the, actually the, it, it's, uh, I think it's, I know one young man is invented it. Maybe it was two of them. It's a very clever idea that, that the slogan of the company is most functions that require a necktie deserve to be slept through. <laughs> so we made a tie that's so a pillow. <laughs> pillow tie has an, infa an inflatable oh. bladder. That's so do I. That's we have two things in common. <laughs> so deflated, it looks like an ordinary tie. It's pillowtie.com. There's actually some very nice designs. But then if you want to take a nap on your desk 
or at the airport, you want to put your head down, you take the little inflatable pillow pot out, inflate it, put it back in the tie, and you can, there you go. The you guy's can, sleeping on his necktie. Sleeping on his necktie. Uh, a lot what of is great this for drunks? <laughs> no. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Their other slogan uh, you know, is because the, the, narcoleptics the guys, like to dress the, up too. The, the guys have a wonderful sense of humor because they, when you get the tie, there's also a, a little tag on it that says not to be used as a flotation device. <laughs> is this a gag gift or you think no, it's serious? Well, yes, it is a gag gift, but the ties are real. Uh, they're microfiber silk blend huh. so that they look good but shouldn't wrinkle. And they're drool repellent, which is, I think, important. Drool repellent is excellent. Yeah. And they're 20 bucks. I mean, they would make a, a they, it would be a great gift for an executive or someone that you, you think is taking on a new job. Dear boss, because you make, up, dress up, make us dress up for our meetings, we thought you should know we all wear pillow ties. Uh, so that funny. when you start talking, yeah. You know, when the guy told me about it, I said, you know, if they're not outrageously expensive, I think it's a funny idea. And he said, well, they're 20 bucks. I that's said, no, that, that's, that's cheap. It's, for a it's, tie. it's doable. And, they're, and he has a ton of different patterns. Um, and oh, I have to they, say, this looks like one of your illustrations from a mad from, magazine. From mad, it does. It does. <laughs> <laughs> Step one, access the inconspicuous valve. Step two, gently bite the base and inflate in less than a breath. Step three. Yes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Wow. Pillow tie. Pillow tie. Who do you think thought that up and how? You know, it, it is very funny. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know how something like that comes uh, about, but it, it's a funny idea. And I, I hope he makes his money back. I know that having talked to people about what they spend to get something to market. This was probably a little easy to get to market sure. because it's just you go to, go to a tie company and say, you know, right. we want to do this and this with We'd the We'd like tie. to put a bladder, an inflatable bladder yes, in your tie. Yes. How do you feel about that? <laughs> they go, oh, hey, no problem. Yeah, be, that sounds good. Be my guest. Yeah. What's going to be in the bladder? Well, that's a different kind of tie. Call that the Euro tie. You now. And, oh, oh, and now a letter to the Gizwiz. And the letter is from Mike Scholes, Nottingham, UK. And he writes, I woke up this morning after checking my email, Facebook, Twitter, JQ, Haiku, how we pronounce it, and making sure my fish weren't dead. I did my daily Google search to find out who the current president of the Internet is. According to the rules, the president of the Internet is whoever is the first Google result for the search president of the Internet. I'm writing to inform you that you're very close. 3,000 miles is very close to an astronomer. A very close friend, Mr. Leo Laporte, is officially... Uh, officially holds the honor, H-O-N-O-U-R, he lives in UK, of holding that office. I've been told I must add love the show to the end of this email. You must, yes. In actual fact, I am wholly ambivalent about the said show, but I will comply <laughs> anyway. I love the show. <laughs> you know, you can write love the show or I am wholly ambivalent about the show. That would work yeah. as well. Absolutely. We'd accept uh, that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And you know what? If you don't put love the show, we just add it autom oh, yeah. automatically. Oh, yeah. yeah I'm yeah. going to start adding I'm wholly ambivalent about the show to every Yes, exa yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, yeah, you know, I totally forgot about President of the Internet. And I went there and there's a graph and you by far. Oh, yeah. It wasn't uh, even close. And, and also this letter is just from September 8th. So it's not like. Uh, well, it's a four year term, dude. Oh, is it? Is or, it? I well, thought it was like a four-hour term. It could be or... president for life. Yeah. The internet you know? is kind of a banana republic. I should be el presidente for life. I'm, <laughs> I've decided that. So we're not having another election, so don't even ask. Oh, okay, okay. No. Do you have any idea how many votes were put in all together? It was unanimous. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Good, good. How's Me, that my mom. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Now, it was Jason Heiner at Tech Republic that did this, I think. Um, 
and I only had to pay him a thousand dollars. So I thought that was pretty good ooh, ooh, yeah, ooh. to throw to throw the election. And uh, you got that inflatable presidential podium that you take everywhere. It has been a year. You know, I'm actually thrilled that Jason uh, did not hold another election. Uh, that he felt this was probably, once was probably more than enough. Uh, it was between me, Mark Andreessen, who, in, who you know invented Mosaic, so he should really probably win. Molly Wood, who's a lot better looking than me. And then there's a little thin slice, 4% voted for Jason Calacanis. But there were 10,000 total votes. Of the 10,000 votes, I got 4,000. Oh, okay. So this is not a daily thing. It's not like no, it you could don't get elected. Me. No, because otherwise there'd be no continuity of government. That's why I'm lobbying for a oh, lifetime. Appointment. Okay, okay. Yeah. Continuity of government. It's good for all of us. Oh, that uh, that's the slogan you ran on, and yeah. that's yeah, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm still running, by the way. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, you know, I, uh, back back when I we were running out for president, someone said. Can you tell us about Alfred's platform? I said, well, it's uh, a four by eight, a uh, marine ply, and it's really sturdy. He stands on it all the time. You know, <laughs> yes, it, the, this thing, this president of the internet, really was one of the best things that ever uh, happened to me. I should thank Jason Heiner because even though it's just, it was a tech blog, you know, it's a, one of the ZDNet tech blogs, uh, only 10,000 people voted. Somehow it's gained some resonance. And frequently now, when people write about me or refer to me, they say Leo Laporte, also known as the president of the Internet. So it's, oh, it's, it's kind of gotten in people's minds. Yeah, well, if you keep mentioning it like this, I bet it will stay in their minds <laughs> for bring, a long time let's to keep come. keep bringing this up. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, so I guess I, tomorrow it's my turn, isn't it? Yeah. Well, you know what? I'm going to say something now. Let's see. Let me just look again. This is show... 1181 i may have said this maybe twice in okay. this many shows i am looking forward to your turn to table tuesday gadget that's good because if you looked backward to my turn the table tuesday gadget it would be over already yeah and it could be a terrible pain on my neck so it probably is yeah. good that i yeah. you want to protect the neck region from that kind of sudden movement of any kind dick i'll see you then I'll be here. D-A-I-L-Y. It's the day.